YouTube. I am back with another video. And as you can see, man, I am in Toro. So if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you can see every time I drop a video. Um, now you can see by the description, the title, etc. I'm gonna be talking about the top five things I hate about my Dodge Challenger 1320. Um, now, I got the question a lot. Why didn't I get a regular scat pack? You know, if I wasn't gonna put this thing on the drag strip, et cetera, all right? Um, I'm not gonna put it on the drag strip till number one, I can perfect my actual launch, all right? And with the trans brake, et cetera, it's a little bit different than just, uh, you know, a brake gas kind of thing, working with the actual speedometer and the RPMs. Um, and I also wanna make sure I can find the right insurance company that way if something were to happen, you know, I'm not out of a car, right? But outside of that, again, I'm gonna be talking about the top five things I hate about this car, right? And it was actually pretty hard because um, I pretty much like everything about the car. That's the reason I got it. Um, but there's some minute things that, you know, after having it for a little over a month now um, that I'm like, dang, like I kind of miss on my old one or wish I would have got, you know, on this one. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, you guys, so you can see she's behind me. We're gonna get into those top five things right quick. Um, you know, kind of might be minute to some people, but I am super OCD. If you know me, you know that already. Um, but, you know, just previous cars I've owned, previous Challengers, etc. You know, we're going to talk about the top five things I hate about this car specifically. Um, and it was pretty hard to do. So, let's, All right, let's overall, do it. it is a perfect car. Let me go ahead and put that out there. It is literally one of Dodge's best cars to me that they put out, right? Especially for the actual cost. But the one thing I want you guys to see and you're probably gonna guess it, but it has no sunroof, all right? Now, mind you guys, I've had a sunroof on every single car and every single Challenger that I've had, and I literally catch myself now going to reach up to the ceiling and having no sunroof, right? Now, I understand it's a drag car, it's not supposed to have one, but, you know, just, you know, when I ride around with the guys, et cetera, if it's a nice day, I do kind of miss, you know, having that aspect to it, right? Uh, so that is the first thing, and the, biggest thing that i hate about this car right i just I'm, I'm a huge fan of the sunroof but you know to each their own right um number two all right and this is for my 1320 owners all right we're actually going to get into the car um because you're going to see something right quick and it's actually a glitch all right so we're going to go ahead and get in and what you're going to see all right my setup is going to be a little bit different all right set of srt etc right there i'm gonna have a drag so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my performance control. And you can see I had drag mode set up default, you know, line lock, etc. cetera. Um, and I can set up the car however I want, you know, normal sport, you know, drag, you know, track, whatever you wanna call it, right? Now, this is what's crazy. I do have a drag button. And when you hit the drag button, it automatically, or it's supposed to automatically put this car in drag mode, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, hit the button. And then what happens is up here, you know, it sets up for drag. And then what I want you to see is this right here, all right? Drag, normal on drag, 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 all right? So steering, suspension, traction, paddle shift, and the mode is all in drag. But my engine and transmission stays in normal, right? But if I actually want to go into drag, all right, I have to be in park and I actually have to make sure I am in drag, all right? It is a glitch. Dodge doesn't have anything to fix it yet for these 2020s. Um, but, you know, to each their own, you know, that that's one minor thing that you have to just make sure you know, all right? That is the glitch per se for these 2020, 1320s. I know uh, Destroy Your 1320 on YouTube put a video out and a few more. So if you want to kind of dive into it, they have a super good video on it. Um, but that is number two. Number three, while we're on the inside, all right. I love the seats. All right, I have the, the suede with the leather, but my seats are blank, right? The, the scat packs normally have a, you know, a scat pack B or whatever on the seat. I love that they put like a 1320 on the headrest or 1320, some, something that kind of just accent the actual car as it being, you know, a 1320, just like the air conditioning vent, right? I think that's one of those minute OCD things for me, but, um, you know, that, that's kind of one of those things that I would just like to have. And that is, you know, I keep my three. car pretty clean, man. I, I try to, I try to wash it, you know, as soon as I kind of put it back up kind of thing. But I've always had a red 
or a white car, right? And and mind you, my red one was ceramic coated, my white one was ceramic coated, etc. And when I say my white one, my Cadillac, my Cadillac, etc. Um, this one hasn't gotten ceramic coated yet because I'm waiting to do a paint correction by DJ, put the wrap on, and then boom, after the wrap goes on, ceramic coated, right? But the one thing I do hate is black shows dirt literally everywhere, right? Like this is nuts. Like I can't stand it. And I literally probably washed my car like four or five days ago and you can see how crazy it is, right? But I do take care of the paint so you can kind of see it does look clean from a distance, but um, that's because again, shout out to Jack's Wax and of course my OCD self. That is number four, man. I wish I could have got a different color um, in this car because not only, you know, was my thing red, but you know, black just shows dirt, like absolutely crazy. That is number four. Now, before I get to number five, let's go over the, the four that we went through, all right? Number one, all right? I don't have a sunroof, all right? That is a huge pet peeve, all right? Two, all right, my drag glitch, all right? Now, I can set it up, I just have to be in park, and I can put myself in drag while I'm going, but, uh, you know, I'd rather be in park to set up the trans brake, et cetera. Number three, the seats, all right? I wish they would have done something a little bit special for the 1320, but, you know, I'll kind of have to take it how it is. And then, of course, number four, the color and how much it shows the dirt and let's get into number, and number five. five you're gonna see this on everybody's top five things they hate but the brake dust is absolutely crazy all right now again i did wash my car the other day but you can see the difference there you guys like literally my car brake dust right that is number five, but probably number two on things that I can't stand. Now, on my last one, I did have power stops. I will vouch for power stops all day. Um, I'm actually gonna wait until I change the brakes on these to get them painted and switch out for the power stops. Um, but yes, that is my top five things I cannot stand about my 2020 Dodge Challenger 1320, all right? Other than that, I fell in love with this car, you guys. I hope you guys you know are, are ready to see some crazy 1320 stuff i have some races set up for this week all right for the for the next couple of videos i'm gonna be doing my guy corvette ken's 1100 horsepower corvette got a race against clt hemi i got a race against a ss 2020 um i was about to say corvette my bad camaro um i have a wide body coming up where we're gonna compare the 2020 wide body versus this um and race it because again it's gonna have 305s all the way around i'm gonna have 275s all the way, all the way around i'm gonna put my nexons back on uh, but yeah those are some of the videos you guys you know need to look for